Hi, welcome again. Today I'm really happy to introduce a new feature in Terraria Magic so you can access paint layer information from your blueprints. So let me show how it works first. So I can play my game. You can see now I have a like a text over my character called ground. So let's walk into the sand area. Now you can see it's a sand. So now basically you can access this information from blueprint, it's just work. Unlike the physical material based system, this is a well predictive system and it works all the time. Based on this, you can add uh, foot sounds, like you can add Niagara effects. So there are a lot of things you can do with this. All right, uh, let's see how we can do this. All right, first you need to install Terraria Magic into your engine and then you need to add it to your project, like you can go to edit, plugins, then search for Terraria Magic, and then you can add that. So this is a feature come to Terraria Magic, so you have to have this uh, plugin. Check the description below how you can get this plugin even for free from GitHub. Then after that, once you install Terraria Magic, you can build your landscape using Terraria Magic and check the description below on how to do that. If you already have a landscape and everything works just fine, then you can simply use this uh, layer sensing feature. So basically you can access paint layers from your blueprints. You can just use just that functionality. All right, here's how you can do that. Go to the uh, select mode, landscape. And then go to the sculpt section over here and click the blueprint icon and then from the blueprint brush and select the terrain magic info brush right then i'm going to select it and i'm going to click somewhere on my uh, screen so it will create an actor in my world outliner so i can go out of my landscape mode then i'm going to select my info brush and after that you can click this cache paint layers button so basically it will cache the paint layers that you're using into some efficient storage so we can access them from blueprint quite easily and also you have a list here you can specify paint layers but i'll talk about that in a moment so let's try to access this paint layer information from blueprint first then i go to my uh, character blueprint so basically i'm using the third person character blueprint so i can go to third person blueprints and this is my character blueprint i'm going to open that and then I'm going to write uh, click and say tick. So now I'm going to get the event tick uh, function. And then uh, I'm going to click this arrow and I'm going to search for find paint layer. So basically a find landscape paint layer. So this is a function that comes with Terraria Magic. Then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to type get actor location. Then I'm going to connect that into this paint. So basically here I'm going to get the the paint layer for a given actor location and then i'll have some return value i can right click and split truck pin and then now we have a boolean value so it will say whether i found a paint layer or not and then we have the name of the paint layer so i can simply print it over here but i say right click basically i'm grabbing this and search for print string and then i'm going to connect this uh, paint layer over here All right then i'm going to compile and save so let's uh, play my level right now it's say i'm on the ground then I'm, if I move into the sand area, it will say sand. So basically everything works just fine. Right, then let's go to a, like a slope area like this. All right, over here. I'm gonna play my game now. So it will say ground. Then let's try to move into this like slope area. Right, now it say none because it, it cannot find any paint layer. But of course we know there's a paint layer over here. And the reason is all the paint layer that you can see over here ground and sand is printed using the terrain magic uh, procedural paint layer functionality and check the description below if you want to know about that and then if you're using that feature and we will automatically detect those paint layers but if you're not you have to manually specify the paint layer that you need to look at so i can easily do that here the paint layer i'm using is called base so i can go to the uh, select mode and landscape layer and i can go to the paint section and there's a paint layer called base but it's definitely change with your own settings if you're using a different landscape material it will be something different right then i need to get this uh, base uh, layer as well so it's very easy i can go to my info brush from the well outline i'm gonna add a new additional paint layer to cache i'm gonna click this and i'm gonna type let's say it's base so i need to get the base as well i'm gonna still hit this button cache paint layers okay that's it now i can play my game right now i can see the base yeah, as well then if i move some other area it will say okay ground right uh yeah everything works just fine of course you can manually paint somewhere on the screen as well and then you can get that information as well so let's do that i'm gonna go to the uh, select mode landscape mode i'm gonna paint section i'm gonna paint something like let's say this top layer nothing interesting but i'm gonna just paint it all right okay cool and then i'm gonna select this all right then now i'm gonna play my game 
it, it will simply say ground. The reason is uh, we haven't actually re invalidate our cache yet. So we have to re uh, reload the cache, restore the cache. So that's only we get this new paint information. So I can go to the info brush. So this is a, like a top layer. So I'm gonna add that as well. All right, and then I'm gonna hit this uh, cache paint layer button again. Right, then I can play my game again, ground and top. So, so everything is predictive. So basically if you made any changes into your landscape, you need to click that button and it will get everything uh, sorted out. Right, then and finally I need to mention something. Here we are going to access this paint layer from the tick event. But here this is totally fine because our paint layer detecting feature is quite efficient so it's just a single lookup but if you're running something costly after that uh, so then uh, it will be a costly thing to do so you 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 can use some other event over here instead of the tick event also you can actually do some timer and try to run this for like every few milliseconds and so so there are a few options you can do uh, but uh, this functionality is just gonna work and it's quite efficient all right that's it for today uh see you soon with something interesting bye